What's happening everybody? This is a Sasuke and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. Today, we are going to be doing at least one, one, maybe two warm-up runs before we get into our daily. And we're going to be doing on YV. And as we are doing our warm-up runs, we're going to be attempting to get to the Oasis consistently. Maybe once, maybe twice, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Ooh, I dodge. So the Oasis is one of the secret levels in the game. And I think I know how to get to it. I'm like 90% sure I do. Gotta be certain. So we're definitely gonna want the laser pistol. I'm not gonna say over the wrench. I love my revolver, but we're gonna leave it behind. We only want the laser pistol because it'll guarantee a quick bandit kill. Big bandit, that is. So, when I actually get to 1 3, the process is gonna go pretty fast. So I wanna go ahead and explain it before we get down there. What's gonna happen is, we're gonna try to skip all the enemies we can, and we're gonna be going for both the ammo chest and the weapons chest. And then, after we get all that, Big Bandit's gonna spawn. And then we're gonna try to kill Big Bandit before 15 seconds have passed. So, um, let's go ahead and try to get that done. I'm thinking, probably some homing bolts in case we get a good bolt lesson. So, it's kinda hard. You just kind of have to barge your way in, kill as little enemies as possible. I'm going to try for zero. This is a really bad one. <laughs> Plenty of enemies that are extremely dangerous. Taking more damage than I want. I don't think we're going to get past these guys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we couldn't sneak past them. That was a really bad one to try it on. Because there were so many nuclear atadas. There's even a golden nuclear atada down there too. That would have just been a laugh and a half if we actually got that done. But that's why these are warm fronts. They are warm fronts with a purpose. Not only trying to make us better, improve our dodging a little bit for the upcoming daily, but also so we can test stuff out. And I have been wanting to test out some stuff to try to, if I want to, be able to get to the Oasis on a semi-consistent basis. And to get this to work, you don't have to avoid every single enemy. You can kill one or two. I think you can kill up to ten, but I don't know that to be certain. But I just like to... I pretty much like to play it safe and not kill any of them unless I have to. So here we go again. Let's see if we can find our stuff really fast. Not down here. Here's one turbo machine gun. Here's two. I think this is going to be the third. Yep. This is Big Bandit. So we need to kill Big Bandit before 15 seconds go by, but this is actually kind of hard. Because these enemies are very persistent. Oh, come on. 15 seconds. I think it's been fast. Yeah, too late. Let's try it again. Uh uh. If you press B on YV, <laughs> you can get a sweet air horn to go off multiple times, so. Well, I don't think that's gonna help us tactically. It's definitely gonna show up nice in our montage. <laughs> and honestly, isn't that what we're all here for anyway? waiting for the epic nuclear throne montage to come out. So we definitely are going to need to replace our pistol with something better. I'm going to go ahead and pick up laser brain in the hopes that we can replace this pistol with a uh, laser pistol on this level. If we could, I think it, our, our chances to get to the oasis would be vastly increased. There will be a weapon that we can quick spam our way to victory with. I really don't know if we're going to be able to get to it again, just because we don't have the weapons once more. We're going to hope the uh, weapon chest on this level pays out with something useful. Excuse me, gentlemen. Screwdriver is not the answer to what we were looking for, but thanks for trying. Big Bandit. I don't think we have the damage to do it. Nah. Damn. Before I tried the video, I got to this place like four times in a row consistently. And now we can't get to it even once. It kind of depends on your first and second level weapon. But you can get some good weapons to where you can just get up in the bandit's face and kill him before a lot of time passes. Then you can pretty much get there. I've been really holding out for that laser pistol to show, but I think we're going to force the shotgun into the role that I would normally use the laser pistol for. Because they both have high DPS, and our right click is just going to tear Big Bandit apart. 
Nico Eyes is gonna allow it to do so more efficiently. Let's see what we can do here. I saw a golden nuclear shot over there, so I'm kind of excited about that. Maybe we'll actually get him out of the way so he doesn't show up on the next level. Now that was just rude. Two big blasts from a shotgun took him down. Oh, easy now. Play fair. Assault rifle is good, gonna be replacing our pistol. Let's go up here and check what we got going. Oh, good job. I didn't really think I was gonna get that one. Alright, so same thing as last time. Skip all the enemies we can. Go find the chest. Hello, nice to meet you. How's your cousin? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look good too. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. There he is. I don't know if we're gonna get it though, because... Oh my god, we got it. That was really scary. But that's all you have to do. And this music is just blowing my mind right now. It's so amazing. And then you get this cute little level. Oh my god. So this, this level is actually a little difficult, surprisingly. Well, I guess not really surprisingly. It's a secret level. And that's the end of it. We lost a lot of HP and this takes us directly to 3-3 now. So as you can guess, our weapons are not really good enough to be here. I mean, they're, we can probably make it work if we play perfectly, but we would much prefer to have much better weapons. But one of the reasons I choose YV, not only from his ability to put out mad DPS really fastly, because he has a higher fast rate and his right click allows him to just murder stuff, but his right click can really carry you you don't have the best weapons. Kinda hoping that's what's gonna happen here. I saw there was a bolt weapon, I'm gonna hope it's good. Went ahead and take the bolt marrow. The splinter gun is pretty good. So I'll take it. I think with bolt marrow it's gonna be pretty good for us, at least for a little while. And I think the assault rifle is solid as well. Pretty good kills. Nothing too scary yet. Let's switch over from it though, and save some of our ammo. Oh, hi. And use our, oh, assault rifle a little bit. So as you can see, we're at a, we're at a level disadvantage to where we would normally be. Because we went to the Oasis. I haven't really figured out what the advantage to the Oasis is yet. I think it might be good for Rogue for skipping those extra levels. Just because Rogue is a naturally strong character, and having to fight less IDPD puts a oh, much less risk to your health. So honestly, I don't know if that's even true, because you're missing out on lots of levels for it anyway. I can see it being pretty useful in a loop. But those enemies would be... Well, I guess they wouldn't really spawn those enemies, because you're in a loop already, which allows... Um, non-zone specific enemies to spawn anywhere. I don't know. I haven't really figured out a use for it yet. I like the idea of it though, and it seems pretty fun to do. We're doing pretty good on our ammo. I think we are going to take the toxic bow. Not only because it's pretty interesting, but I also think it's going to help us eliminate our... Oh, I was really hoping we could dodge that. Okay, this is looking ugly. Hi, dog. So, I, I don't like what's happening here at all. I don't think I have to tell you guys. You can pretty much see that this is lame. I just went ahead and shot that there, hoping the poison would kill a dude. Seems like it did. Now we're gonna play the long range game for a minute here. Let my mind recuperate from that madness that just happened. Ooh, lots of HP. We're gonna need to. Ooh, I'm happy we picked that up if we didn't as a chance to spawn horror soon. So I think with this, we're gonna be able to set. Well, the hope is we're gonna. I don't know why I picked up the bolts there. Oh, that was silly. The hope and dream is that we set Little Hunter down in a giant cloud of poison. 
and he pretty much just dies. <laughs> we don't have to uh, worry about it too much. That's what my volume settings. Hold on, kind of really loud in my ear. One shot to those guys with a rock. I don't know if it's actually. Oh wow, that was extremely effective. We just sat him in a corner with the poison, and he pretty much killed himself by sitting in it. I'm surprised he didn't do the multi-jump thing, that's always really annoying. He only does the multi-jump thing when it would be really detrimental to have him do it, I swear. Other than that, I mean, we're going pretty well. We are a little starved on levels from going to the Oasis still. We're probably missing about one level from where we would want to be right now. But other than that, it doesn't seem to have affected us very much. We don't have the supporting mutations for this minigun. I feel like we're just going to waste ammo with it. I mean, we do have eagle eyes, don't we? That's eagle eyes. So, I mean, we'll try it. Ain't never hurt nobody to try, he says as he takes damage. I forgot that we had recently used Barop with our right click. We, we had recently used Barop with our weapon here, so... I tried to shoot it immediately and had to wait. The nuke launcher? I mean, let's be honest here. We're having fun, so... I'm gonna YOLO this a little bit. Take the nuke launcher and probably kill myself immediately. So the nuke launcher is one of the more powerful weapons. Ever. I don't. It's not good. The nuke launcher is not good at all. So, oh god, this is actually a little scary. Do we really have the mutations to support this? I didn't think we did. We do. This could be incredible if we play it cool. Play it cool, baby. Take down the necromancer. Oh, this is going so long. These are my favorite runs too. I hope we get the pull it off. Now... I just, I don't know why I did that. That was really risky. If that guy would've just ran the other way, I probably would've died. <laughs> it worked out, and... Oh, that was a mimic. And that was... The, oh my god, it changed targets so fast. One of the problems I can see with our minigun setup. This is the right click is so pathetic, watch this. It shoots up two bullets and you can't hold it down. So you're much better just holding left click than you are right click. But I think it's gonna benefit our nuke launcher to be able to output all that DPS really quickly. Okay, where was that damn fish? I saw like three of them hiding in a corner somewhere. Uh-huh. Oh. Ooh, they dropped double HP too, wow. I don't even have frickin' rabbit's paw. So we can get prop, impact wrist, or scary face. We're gonna go with scary face here. So, this is a little scary. We have pretty good weapons though. That was not the best nuke launcher shot I've ever done. We don't even have Rabbit's Paw, but we are getting quite a few drops. Energy Sword would be nice to have. But I think I kind of got to commit to what we have, because if, if I can get close enough... Well, let me just say, if I can time it well, I think we can get double nuke launchers inside of the throne, if we even get to the throne. It's always a risk when you start these levels out. You just die to the craziness of the beginning. Like, I see this nuclear dog, like, trying to corner us. Me a little bit. We need more HP or oh ammo. We're using a bit too much to feel comfortable with. Sneak in between those shots like a not intelligent person is what I'm gonna say. Okay, <laughs> I had to shoot that. I was really worried I was gonna end up being a mimic and just ruin everything. Oh, that happened exactly how I want. I wanted to take this down with us in case we had to run back and grab it. Euphoria is going to help with their dodges with Strong Spirit. Just seems like the smart thing with this frickin' nuke launcher. Laser rifle. We're going to take the bullets. So here's the perfect scenario. And I don't know if it's going to happen. 
we're gonna activate the throne after we activate the throne we're gonna shoot a right click from our nuke launcher and then it's gonna come alive place its legs on the ground then it's gonna instantly blow up inside with double nukes and then I'm gonna double fire another set of nukes at it and then we're just gonna unload with our minigun that's the dream and if it doesn't work out I'm not gonna be very angry just cause <laughs> it's kinda of preposterous but I like the idea of That nuke launcher hit us right in the beak, and we're almost out of ammo. Oh my god, can't believe it. <laughs> this nuke launcher is so bad, it almost murdered us. What was this weapon back here? Was it even worth taking? I don't want this nuke launcher anymore, I've seen the error of my ways. <laughs> almost murdered myself immediately when we started that level. It's a laser rifle. You know what? We'll keep the damn nuke launcher. Oh, man. <laughs> Maybe we can make something happen with it. As long as we don't, like, one-shot ourselves with it, we need boiling veins. Okay. That was good damage. That was... wow. We actually two shot him. I want that ammo, thank you. Who wasn't gonna give it to me? Brop. That just seems like suicide. Let's take more chests for more ammo. Oh my dude, launcher. Okay, okay. Quit panicking. Quit panicking. I'm panicking. Oh, well, give me that HP and get these rats away from me. You don't get to touch me, Peter the Floor. Alright, alright, you know, I didn't even panic for a second there. And if you saw any, like, hints of panicking from me, it was obviously in your own mind. Whoa, hi. Because I am calm, cool, and collected. Breaking you out of prison, boys. <laughs> This nuke launcher is interesting, but it scares me. Bob and Weave. Let's see if we can do some of that, maybe. I don't like the idea of just walking into a room and destroying all of our cover immediately. I mean, it was okay with the super plasma gun, because at least that murdered every single thing in the entire game. This thing seems to have the same aspirations, but doesn't do it as efficient. As efficient. Yeah, that's a lot of IDP. If we could stop with that for a minute, I'd be happy. Okay, let's just see how that works out. I feel like this isn't working as well as we want it to. So if we get the chance to replace it, I'm, I'm down. But at the same point in time, I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> never mind, at the same point in time, screw you. We can double shot this, that seems like the worst, best idea I've ever heard in my life. I mean, do we do it? It would use 40 ammo, I believe. That was a bad position to play that didn't get very many kills. I mean, yeah, it got kills, but it didn't get the kind of kills high that we are looking for. Oh, we're dead. Oh my god, we're not dead? How are we not dead? Can we shoot this, please? The reload time is ridiculous. Oh, give me that. I want those goodies. Okay, we're almost out of ammo. And that... I mean, if you're curious, that's not where we want to be in our lives. It's almost out of ammo. Let's just let this reload. I think we're just screwed. Unless we get better weapons, or maybe less ammo intensive weapons, we're just gonna slowly lose at this point. The IDPD would not... No. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Give me ammo. Yes, 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 yes. I think we have to take this blood ammo, right? The heavy assault rifle? 
mean, I think we had to take the blood hammer. Oh, what the hell? It deals like zero damage. God, this is, this is way too late game for the damn Splinter Pistol. But I guess we're taking it. Let's see. Take a tour to the mansion. I've never been to the actual full mansion or the high rate of fire. I mean, is there even... Oh my lord. It's so good. It's everything. What is a Devastator? What? Okay, it uses way too much ammo. We just wasted a shit ton. What was that? An ultra shotgun? Alright. <laughs> a lightning shotgun, golden crossbow. How do we even get out of here? I don't actually know that. The super crossbow, the ultra revolver is so good. Actually, the ultra crossbow might be worth it too, just because we have bolt marrow. Alright, how do we get out of here? Do we talk to you or something? What happened? Hello? Oh, is there a level? Oh, we can take any of our cars out of here? You know we gotta take this one, it's different. Well, we gotta take one of the red headed ones. Oh! We're fine. <laughs> that was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, now we actually have to do the YV Mansion mission? Interesting. Um, ignore whatever's happening in there. Man, we really... We could use... We don't really need either of these. But we could really use a way to attract all the ammo to us more easily. This only uses one crossbow bolt at a time though. That's actually really good. And we can shoot through walls with it a little bit. I mean, we don't need this because we're... Sadly, I mean, I don't know. It was pretty cool to see that, but at the same point in time, it didn't give us anything except for this Ultra Crossbow. Which we'll have to see in time as if it's even worth it. Okay, that's happened. That didn't do as well as I was hoping it did. But at the same point in time, I think it did do quite a few kills. It's actually really hurting us to have have to go and separately pick up all the, uh, the ammo and crap because we have to run ourselves in there dangerously just to get it like this. Let's see. Let's go this guy talk to though. And we're missing a lot of it since we have to get so close. But somehow our ammo is working right now, so I'm not going to complain about that. Looks like I'm going to have to do another video for the daily. I don't mind doing it though. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the boss noise, I'm pretty sure. So, this crossbow is literally godlike. We need to watch out for getting flanked. That's what's gonna kill us right now. I had to shoot that just to make sure it wasn't. I'm gonna shoot that in there and see what happens. Lots of death. I think the boss of his effect But now it is. And that's the end. Uh, I, oh, I guess there was an ammo chest. That sucks, we're about to run low on our plasma gun ammo here. Kinda sad this isn't the day. Like. I don't know if that was the best choice to do that It kind of sucks though, so we gotta run in there together. Oh my god, no. Quit being so tactical. Get tactical, Marines. No! Okay. <laughs> 24 minute video, it's a little short. But I think I'm just gonna let that be the end. We gotta see YV's mansion, and we gotta see the Oasis, so that's actually freaking amazing. I'm hoping our daily's even like 120th that good, and I'll be satisfied. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, my bromios. Um, check out the other content on my channel. We have Darkest Dungeon, and we have a lot of Isaac runs. We died to a damn fish of all the creatures. But anyway... <laughs>
I hope to see you guys in plenty of the other videos. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys.